Good morning and welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. I am on my way to boot camp as always and I wanted to hop on really quick and welcome you to today's video. We have a busy day today. I have lots of new things that I have purchased or been trying as far as foods go. So I'm gonna, so I want to share those with you today. I'm planning a really good recipe for dinner tonight, really good food for today. If you missed my weigh-in video on Friday, I'll link it for you if you missed it. I am in a little mini cut. I'm in basically an eight week cut, which means that I'm in a slight caloric deficit for the next eight weeks. And the reason for that is my 30 year high school reunion is in July and I want to lean down as much as I can before that reunion. And by being in this mini cut in the month of May, in the month of June, that will be perfect leading up to my reunion. I have no travel plans in May and June, so it makes it really easy to stay with the cut. And so far it's been going really well. I'm a week into the eight weeks today and it's going really well. I don't feel deprived at all. I feel like I'm making really good food choices to fit in my calories and things are going really well. So you're going to see today kind of the foods that I'm choosing and eating when I'm in a cut, when I'm not eating at my maintenance calories. So I, we will just spend the entire day together. So I'm gonna get my workout in for the morning, get that out of the way, and I'll see you back at home for breakfast. So I am ready for the day and I am 100% ready for breakfast. I am so, so hungry. So I'm going to have my meal prep. If you missed Monday's meal prep, I'll link that video down below for you. But I made these cottage cheese pancakes. These are incredible. I have never made cottage cheese pancakes before and a lot of you actually commented on that video and said, that these are some of your favorite type of pancakes and I have to concur. They're really, really delicious and look how huge this pancake is. So I'm going to do one pancake. I have some Kerrygold butter. I'm going to do a teaspoon of Kerrygold butter, a tablespoon or two of sugar-free syrup, and then I have some strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, just fruit mixture. I like to top it with some fruit for a healthy carb and some fiber. And then I'm going to mix up my One Up Nutrition Pure Rebuild. This is my creatine supplement that I take post-workout. Oh my gosh, speaking of workout, this was the hardest boot camp workout I've had in a year and a half. Really, truly, since I started, my heart rate was insane. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that my normal heart rate is like 125. It was 141 today for my average heart rate. I was so sweaty, dripping sweat. It was an insane workout. I mean, it was a really good workout, but it was insane. So I'll actually pop some clips up here and some pictures up here for you guys of the workout, but I am going to, I definitely need my creatine after today's workout because I'm already sore from lifting weights on Saturday, running that 5k yesterday and now boot camp today. So I have the strawberry watermelon. This is amazing. It tastes so good. It's the best creatine supplement hands down. It says helps rebuild hard, lean, and muscle support, strength, power, endurance, rebuild, and recovery from the toughest workouts. So it's going to help you recover with soreness. So I filled up my cup here with water. I'm going to add a scoop of my creatine, mix that up with my little handheld frother, and I'll have that with my breakfast. You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger, a willing and able to do what you want. You think I'm a thinker, but I'm just a So here is my breakfast. I'm telling you, you need to make these protein pan these cottage cheese pancakes. They're so good. So much protein, lots of healthy carbs and fiber. And then we're getting some healthy fat with that teaspoon of butter. Don't skip the butter. It adds a good saltiness, kind of creaminess to the pancake. So this is going to be breakfast. Obscurity, don't let me ever be this alone. I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. Shouldn't be trusting me, I could be making it all. Breakfast was amazing. I'm going to start on my One Up Nutrition Creatine. I forgot to mention that I have a 20% off discount code for One Up. I'll link it down below for you. But I am ready for the day. I just popped on these fun, kind of green, really lightweight wood earrings. I think these are from Timu. And I want to share with you guys the newest ring to my collection. Look at how beautiful this is. Look at that sparkle. This is from the brand She Said Yes. So I decided to treat myself to this beautiful ring right here. This is the best memories stackable wedding ring and it comes in white gold, regular gold, and rose gold in 10 karat 
14 karat, 18 karat, and even comes in platinum. You also can select the weight of each of the stones in your ring, your size, and if you want to engrave it, you have that option as well. Free shipping, 30 day returns on the She Said Yes website. This is a wedding band that exhibits three continuous rows of sparkle. Six emerald cut stones are set in this beautiful channel. It's 0.632 karat and contains 44 stones. This ring is something that you can layer with a wedding band or you can wear it all on its own like I am. I just really like that it's simple, modern, and timeless. This ring will forever be in style. It's just so sparkly and beautiful, and I think it's the perfect addition to my outfit. They offer free shipping, flexible payment, 30-day returns, a one-year warranty. All jewelry are custom made. I love, like I said, the first set that I picked up, and I really, really love this ring. This is something I can see myself wearing daily. It would make an amazing last-minute Mother's Day gift or gift to yourself, or if you're in the market for for a wedding ring or engagement ring, this is perfection. It comes with a beautiful box that you can keep the ring in. It also comes in this box, includes this beautiful ribbon, and then the inside of the box is equally as beautiful. It is fully lined with this satin, and then there is a little tote bag as well. So depending on how you wanted to gift the ring, she said yes, has you covered. So not everything from the packaging to the jewelry itself to the company is incredible. This is my second purchase from them and I absolutely love this ring. The quality of it is impeccable. The price is affordable. I will link she said yes down below for you. I do have a fifth 15% off discount, so I will put that in the description box. Treat yourself or someone you love to a beautiful piece of jewelry from She Said Yes. This little turd out here, sunbathing. He sunbathes every single morning. He's so cute, he's literally falling asleep. It is about 9.40 and I'm going to have coffee and I'm going to share with you my first new food find or new thing that I've been loving. And that's these right here. These are from the brand Slate. Now I saw these on TikTok. TikTok always gets me, but I actually ordered these on Amazon. They were much more affordable on Amazon. I have tried a couple of them already and I really, really like them. What I picked up was the Slate Milk. So basically what this is, is high protein milk. Now you can use this in anything. You can use this in coffee, smoothies, protein shakes. You can just drink it out of the can. It's absolutely delicious. Definitely recommend having it cold, super, super cold. I think that delivers the best experience, the best flavor. But what I picked up was the combo variety pack of the milks. Now Slate also makes lattes. So these are going to have milk and coffee already in them. So whatever your preference is, I have not tried the lattes, only the milk, and I love them. So I have dark chocolate, classic chocolate, and French vanilla. Now I've tried the classic chocolate and the French vanilla, love them, and today we're trying the dark chocolate. So these have 20 grams of protein, 100 calories, and zero added sugar. Now the carb counts vary. So in the dark chocolate, there's actually 15 grams of carbs. In the classic chocolate in the French vanilla, the classic chocolate has four grams of carbs and the French vanilla has two. I'm just assuming based on the flavor, the carb count is varied. They are lactose free and it says high protein milk shake. All of the flavors have monk fruit and then some are sweetened with allulose. So the dark chocolate is sweetened with allulose. That's my favorite sweetener as you guys know. And it looks like the French vanilla and the chocolate are sweetened with stevia leaf. So I don't taste the stevia leaf in either of these. I don't taste the monk fruit. So again, classic chocolate French vanilla are sweetened with monk fruit and stevia leaf. Dark chocolate is sweetened with allulose and monk fruit. Dark chocolate is the highest carb flavor. So that's the one, like I said, we're going to use today. I like to use them as milk and coffee. I've also tried them in a blended protein shake and they're delicious. So for my coffee today, we're going to do the drag up and I have the mocha mint. So I thought how perfect is that for the dark chocolate? I make my cold brew at home. I love drag up. It's the only brand I like. The rest I think have a really weird bitter taste to them, but drag up is delicious. And then we're going to use this as our milk, but it's going to give us 20 grams of protein. I can't wait to try the dark chocolate because I love the French vanilla and the classic chocolate. I will link Slate right off of Amazon for you and I'll link Drag Up. I do have a discount code for Drag Up. So let's make this mocha mint coffee. So I have a 32 ounce mason jar. You can use any size that you want. You'll just want to have room for both the Slate protein milk and whatever coffee you're using. So I'm going to add some Drag Up cold brew. 
And then I'm going to add the slate. It is not carbonated. That is a question. That was a question I had and there is no carbonation. So we're going to add that. I'm going to put in a little bit more cold brew and some ice. All right, so let's give this a try. Wow. That's really good. This tastes to me just like a mocha. If I were to buy an iced mocha at the coffee shop, that's what this tastes like because it's milky because of the slate. This is amazing. 20 grams of protein and 100 calories for an iced mocha. It's really good. Very chocolatey, very creamy. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, excited about slate. I'm so glad it showed up on my TikTok feed because this is going to be a staple for me. I do eventually want to try their coffee flavors, but I like the milks because they're more versatile. So they range anywhere from about two to four points on Weight Watchers. It depends on the flavor of the milk. And again, 20 grams of protein. That is incredible. Is Palmer sunbathing? We need to go get him, Lola, for your treat. Yeah. She has been limping the last couple of days. I think her and Palmer played a little rough. Oh, she's still limping a little. Come here, baby. Come here. Oh, she's barely limping, but yeah, I think her and Palmer just played a little too rough, so she's been a little bit limpy the last couple of days. Welcome in. Okay, let's get treats. Let's see. Auntie Amy sent you guys treats. My friend Amy, when she found out Lola was in remission, she sent us a whole pack of dog treats. She's literally the sweetest person ever. So we're working through the treats Auntie Amy gave us. Yeah, so the treat Auntie Amy gave us. Nickel Bubba's. So I'm actually going to make some rice and ground turkey. Troy's warming up his food for Lola. She goes to chemo tomorrow and usually she doesn't eat very well for a couple of days after chemo. So I like to make her chicken and rice. So I have rice going in my little dash rice cooker. I do one cup of raw rice, uncooked rice, two cups of water and it makes perfect rice every time. I actually bought this on Amazon. I'll link it for you. And then I have 93% ground turkey cooking up on the stove. I also have my berries soaking. I do a mixture of white vinegar or distilled vinegar and water. That's the best way to clean your fruit. And then I let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, you look worried and maybe you should be Cause this is a warning that I'm throwing out Cause I'm the worst player that ever will play you To make some sweet words with the girl said he Boy, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling Down to obscurity, don't let me ever be this alone I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling Shouldn't be trusting me, I could be making it all up, you know literally starving. I just got off of a coaching call. It's 1140 and I am so hungry for lunch. Like my stomach is actually growling. So I'm going to have tilapia for lunch. So I have these tilapia flays from Members Mark, which is from Sam's Club. I did defrost one. I am actually going to weigh this out on my food scale raw before I cook it so I know exactly how much. On the back of this, it says that it's four ounces, but the size of the flays definitely varies. So safe than sorry, weigh it out on your food scale. And then I have a sweet potato. I baked up some of those sweet potatoes I bought from Sam's Club and Saturday's Grocery Haul for Troy and I, and I've been obsessed with baked sweet potatoes. So I'm also going to peel this and weigh this out. So we're gonna do tilapia and a sweet potato for lunch. I may have something sweet after. I'll see if I'm still hungry. I am trying to watch my carbs for a lot of my meals earlier in the day because we're having nachos for dinner. So I'm gonna share with you a sheet pan nacho recipe. So I'm kind of saving my carbs, my fat, some of my calories for dinner. So I'm going to pan fry my tilapia, warm up my sweet potato, and let's have lunch. So my tilapia is 4.6 ounces raw and 183 grams of sweet potato. So here's my lunch. There is my tilapia. I cooked it so it was nice and crispy. My warmed up sweet potato, I'm not adding anything to it. It's so good and flavorful, just baked. Woo, you guys are steaming up. Just baked up. And then I'm working on my second 40 ounce cup 
of water for the day. So I'll put all the information here on the screen for today's lunch. It's afternoon snack time and I have another new product to share with you guys that I've been loving and that is from Clean Simple Eats. Did you know that Clean Simple Eats has protein water? Yes they do and I got my hands on two cases of each flavor with the exception of the Blue Raz. That flavor was not in stock when I ordered but they just released on Monday a variety pack where you get three cans of all four flavors including Blue Raz. So first of all let me tell you the flavor. So there's Blue Raspberry, Prickly Pear, Tropical Orange, and dragon fruit. Now I have tried the tropical orange and the prickly pear. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And today I'm going to have the dragon fruit. You guys need to get your hands on these. The issue with these are they sell out so fast because they're incredible. I said in my Facebook post that these remind me is if vitamin water and juice had a baby, it would be this. This is what it, it tastes exactly like that. It is not carbonated, even though it comes in a can, it is not carbonated, but basically it's a protein water. So there's 20 grams of protein in here. It's lactose free, no artificial ingredients, 90 calories, one Weight Watcher point, and only two grams of carbohydrates and it literally tastes like vitamin water and juice mixed together. The orange is so good. It reminds me of an orange creamsicle. And then the prickly pear is very, it's kind of a sweet tart. It's interesting, hard to describe, but both of these were so good. I cannot wait to try the dragon fruit. And I actually ordered the variety pack so that I could try the blue raspberry because I'm so excited for that too. But we're gonna try this today. I love that it is. 20 grams of protein and only 90 calories. It says, let's be clear, this isn't like any other protein you've tried. It's smooth yet tingles the taste buds. Each mouth-watering flavor is unique and bold while still light and refreshing. So it says, clearly superior, 20 grams of grass-fed whey isolate protein, amazing, gentle on digestion, ultra filtered and lactose free, and advanced recovery, supports muscle growth and recovery. So I love having this in the afternoon after I've already had my One Up Nutrition Creatine because it's just another way to supplement for muscle growth and recovery, and it tastes so good. I'm so excited to try this flavor. But like I said, these sell out really, really quickly. I'm going to link Clean Simple Eats down below. I do have a 10% discount. It's exactly what I use to place my order. But get your hands on the variety pack. Get your hands on any of the flavors because this is a game changer in protein water. And then I'm going to have that with a yogurt. So I have the light and fit caramel apple pie. This is going to give me 12 more grams of protein, 80 calories. So 32 grams of protein in my afternoon snack. So I have something sweet and then I have these amazing protein waters from Clean Simple Eats. Cheers. Wow. Ooh, this one's really good. This might be my favorite. It's so good. It's sweet and fruity. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to decide on a favorite. You can't go wrong with any of the flavors. I thought we could do like a random haul. All of these packages just got delivered. So I ordered some fun things. So I thought I'd just show you guys just for something fun in today's video. First up is from Buff Bunny. Actually, I ordered these on their last launch and they were too small, so I had to get a bigger size. These are some new sports bras, but I got these to wear as day-to-day -day bras. Look at how beautiful these are. I love the cups. They have pads in them that are not removable, so they're permanent and they're molded cups. And I love, love, love the full coverage back. So it's actually like a little mini tank top. Isn't this cute? So I got the black and the brown. I did originally get a large and it fit me perfectly around, but the cups were just a little bit too small for me. So I exchanged them for an extra large. Normally I'm a medium or a large in Buff Bunny sports bras, but these I definitely needed one size up. So there's the brown and the black. And then I subscribe to Ice Cream Beauty Box. This is like a makeup subscription box. I always unbox this on my beauty channel. So that that came, I will be unboxing it of makeup. This box is a palette from a brand that I love, another indie brand, independently owned brand called Adept Cosmetics. And they had a new release of a palette and a blush palette, so I bought both. And again, I usually do just full tutorials on palettes that I purchased, so I'll be doing a full tutorial on this. But this is in collaboration with Amy Loves Makeup here on YouTube. 
Oh, the packaging of this is so pretty. Look at that pretty glitter. And then look at how beautiful this palette is. It's just this cool toned, gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to review this. And then I got the blush palette. It all comes packaged so well. Oh, and the packaging of this is so pretty. So this is also glittery. So one's like a rose gold glitter. Isn't that pretty? And then the blush palette is just a pinky glitter. So pretty, look at that. Oh, so I'm so excited for these. Again, I'll be doing full tutorials on my beauty channel. And here is what the blush palette looks like. Last but not least is my Hydro Jug order. So I have one box and one bag. So I really bought quite a bit from Hydro Jug. I'm kind of over Stanley's because they leak. And I have spilt my Stanley cup a hundred times and Hydro Jug does not leak. So I ordered a lot. I ordered a lot of products from them because I'm going to be replacing all of my tumblers with Hydro Jug. So this is everything out of the big box. So the first thing that I ordered was a lid replacement and this is the lid with the straw. So I prefer to drink out of a straw most of the time, but I also like the option of not having a straw. So I bought the straw lid. So it came with the straw and the actual lid. And then I had to get this. This was so cute. I could not pass it up and it put me right to where I got free shipping. I never like paying for shipping. So if I can avoid it, I will. Look how cute this is. It is a hydro drug keychain. And then first is this big Bahama Mama. This is a 64 ounce. 64 ounce hydrogen at this color. Oh my gosh, I love this bright green color. So you can sip it with a built-in straw. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And this will be so perfect for when I'm hiking or when I'm going to be out for a long time because it's 64 ounces. It says leak-proof, triple vacuum insulation, BPA-free stainless steel, keeps water cold up to 24 hours. Customize and protect with the sleeve and Less refills because it's 64 ounces. This is also going to be perfect for when I go to the gym. I'm so excited for that. And then I also got the shaker bottle. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's this kind of ribbed diamond bright pink. I love this. Look at how cute this is. So it has the sip top with the shaker built in. I love that. Don't You don't have to worry about losing any type of like shaker ball. And then it actually comes with a lid with a straw hole and a straw. So you can either do the sip lid after you do the shaker or you can add the straw lid. Oh my gosh, I just absolutely love this. Perfect for mixing up creatine, pre-workout, BCAAs. Oh, I'm so excited. And then look at this tumbler. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. This does not spill when tipped over. So it does have, again, the sip lid and the straw lid with the matching straw. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. I love this pretty baby pink. Then we have this package with more cups in it. I'm actually replacing all of my tumblers, shaker bottles, jugs with Hydro Jug. I love it so much and it definitely keeps your water nice and cold. Much better than the Stanley in my opinion. I bought the 32 ounce Traveler and the 40 ounce. Okay, I'm literally in love with this color. Look at this pretty periwinkle blue and then it has a light blue handle. This one has the built-in straw and it does not spill. So it doesn't spill at all, which is exactly why I'm replacing my, well, I only have one Stanley cup, but replacing my Stanley cup. And then I have another cheapy one from Timu, but these are the cups I drink out of all the time at home. I do take my Lululemon water bottle if I travel. But typically I drink out of my cups at home. I'm going to go ahead and throw away the one from Timu. It just doesn't keep my water very cold, but I'm so excited for the 32. And then I got pink sand in the 42, in the 40 ounce. Oh, it's so pretty. So there's the pink sand 40 ounce. So you can see the difference in the sizes. I just wanted to have multiple sizes. And again, no spill. You can turn this over and not lose any liquid. I'll actually use it in a video and show you guys maybe in next week's What I Eat in a Day. I'm so excited. Look at all my new Hydro Jugs. Definitely going to be my go-to cup. I actually have a discount code for Hydro Jug. It's the code I used when I placed my huge order. I will link it down below for you. Definitely pick up these tumblers if you like Stanley but you hate that they spill like I do. And again, this big half gallon jug is incredible for travel and hiking. 
thing. And then the shaker cups are also really nice for all of your supplements. So for dinner tonight, I'm making oven nachos. I'm so excited for these. I saved quite a few calories, carbs, and fat because this is going to be a home cooked out to eat comfort food meal and I'm here for it. So let me show you what you'll need. So first you're going to need chips of your choice. I'm just using these white tortilla chips. Reduced fat Mexican blend or reduced fat cheese of your choice. 96 or 93% ground beef, a can of black beans, a can of, can of fat free refried beans, and some taco seasoning. So the first thing I'm going to do is brown my ground beef and then add the taco seasoning. So the ground beef is done and I have my tortilla chips. I'm going to put about 48 tortilla chips on my sheet pan. And then we're going to just basically spoon the refried beans right on top of the chips. And then we're going to add half of our ground beef over the refried beans and then reserve the other half in your skillet. You need two cups total of light cheese, so we're going to put one cup on top. And then add the rest of your ground beef. Top that with your black beans. Then lastly, we're adding our remaining cup of light shredded cheese right on top. This is going into a 375 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. We just want the chips to get kind of cooked and a little extra crispy and that cheese to melt. So I chopped up three Roma tomatoes. We're gonna top our nachos with those. And then I drained the can of Fiesta corn that has the peppers in it. We have salsa, we have sour cream. I was gonna do avocado, but none of mine are ripe. This always happens to me, I swear. So this is what we're going to top the nachos with. All right, I took the nachos out of the oven, topped it with that Fiesta corn and my diced up tomatoes. And then again, we have sour cream and salsa for additional toppings. So let me go ahead and plate up a serving. I'll show you what that looks like, give you points, calories, and macros. And here is my dinner. Seven chips per serving, and then of course, the equal amount of the toppings. The whole sheet pan only makes eight servings, so I'll put all the information here on the screen for you. It's the end of the night, and I'm going to have some dessert, and I think tonight I'm having a midday square. I shared these in a few what I eat in a day videos ago. I really, really like these. I heard about these on Instagram, and I ordered them, and they have nice, clean ingredients. They're really, really delicious. They're perfect for a snack, or sweet treat. Now these are not a protein supplement. They're not a protein bar. In fact, there's only between seven and eight grams of protein, 160 calories, but they're packed with fiber. So they're a really healthy option, nice clean ingredient. So the pack that I bought, I got the brownie batter and I have the almond crunch and the peanut butter. Now I like all of the flavors. I would say the peanut butter is probably my all time favorite. And I'm kind of feeling peanut butter tonight. So I think I'm gonna do the peanut butter midday square. Again, this one is 170 calories, six grams of protein, four grams of fiber, so good. You have to keep these refrigerated because they don't have any preservatives or additives. Like I said, nice clean ingredients and they definitely satisfy that sweet tooth. joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me, seeing everything I ate in a mini cut, so in a caloric deficit, to lean down, lose fat, whatever happens with my body over the next few weeks, as well as how I get in my protein every day. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the new food finds that I found. There's so many good things that I've purchased and discovered. I'll definitely be sharing more with you in my favorites video and in future What I Eat in a Days. I will link everything down below for you, as well as my recipe website. That's where you'll find tonight's nacho recipe, 10 out of 10, and nutrition coaching. Definitely have your macros and calories done. That way you know exactly what you should be eating to maintain, lose weight, whatever it is that you're looking to do. And then that one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions and support. I'll also have my other favorite things and my free Facebook group. Come join us. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.